The Champions, also known as the Four Champions, a team chosen by the Hyrulean royal family. These heroes were made up from the five races of Hyrule, if you include Link, to battle against the impending force of the Calamity Ganon. Each hero was tasked to pilot the divine beasts that were unearthed after an intensive excavation due to the fear of the return of Calamity Ganon 10,000 years after he was initially sealed. Ruta was piloted by the lovely Princess Mipha. Rodania was piloted by the Goron warrior Daruk. Meadow was piloted by the Rito warrior of Rivali, and Naboris was piloted by the Gerudo chief Urbosa. Of course, as we all know with the return of Calamity Ganon, things took an unexpected turn for the worse when Calamity took possession of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, causing an unfortunate end for our champions. Hello, welcome, I'm Icy Snaps, come on in, take a seat and enjoy the video. Even though the champions may have lost their lives, their spirits were trapped, but when Link was able to defeat the Ganon Blights that infect the Divine Beasts, the champions were still able to aid Link in his quest, not only once again piloting the machines, but also granting Link with special abilities. Mipha, who grants Mipha's grace, which gives Link the ability to resurrect after death, which was quite welcome from me in this game. Daruk with Daruk's protection, which gave Link the ability to block all incoming attacks with a protective barrier. Rivali, who reluctantly grants Link with the Rivali's Gale, the ability to produce a gust of wind that launches you up into the sky. And finally, Urbosa with the gift of her fury, which grants the ability to summon lightning to the surrounding area. So, my question is that, yeah, we have these in Breath of the Wild, but will we see these abilities moving forward in Tears of the Kingdom? So far, we haven't seen much in terms of special abilities, besides what we've seen with Link's shiny new hand, of course. At the end of Breath of the Wild, with the defeat of Calamity Ganon, we see the champions, along with King Roam, finally, with their purpose fulfilled, pass on to the unknown. Do we assume that their abilities that were granted to Link are also gone, along with the champions? Once they were in this world and now they're not, and does that include everything granted from them? It would be a shame to not have these abilities going forward to a direct sequel. I think these abilities translate well into Tears of the Kingdom, particularly Rivali's Gale. Having to traverse the Sky Islands using Rivali's Gale would grant you the ability to reach further or even higher islands. It feels like this ability was made for island hopping, rather than its intended use on the ground in Breath of the Wild. My theory initially is that Link lost these abilities once their spirits had left the realm. But perhaps when Link gets attacked by the Malice, like we see in the trailer, this is where Ganon strips Link of all his abilities, forcing us to start from scratch. But with the disappearance of our abilities, does that mean we won't see them in-game at all? Unless... Sidon, Yonobo, Tabor and Riju. Yonobo being the descendant of Daruk, inherited the ability of Daruk's protection. And to be fair, only Yonobo out of all these champions has the special abilities passed down to them. Maybe we will see different abilities granted to us. Or, you know, maybe nothing at all. But that does beg the question. How will these characters be involved in Tears of the Kingdom? The inclusion of these characters gave the open world some depth. They were a welcomed addition to the story. Breath of the Wild was vast, and while there are lots of little things to come across, they helped build emotion and depth to the story, which was quite minimal in terms of a traditional Zelda game. We get small hints from the inhabitants, but other than that, it seemed the story came from the found memories we get. And it does make sense because Link's been asleep for a hundred years, the world's changed and the only looming threat is a mindless Calamity Ganon. And the fact that it can be done without interacting with any of these side characters makes me feel that there is more room for a bigger side quest or even a bigger main quest that involves more than just heading straight to the boss. In previous Zelda games we see Link having to acquire certain items to progress the main story. And while it is very linear, it's not to say it wouldn't work in an open world environment. I would be very happy to see them again, but perhaps we see them again as companions within new dungeons. If we assume that the different regions will contain a region themed dungeon, will we see them once again needing to help us get through, similar to how we needed them to gain entry to the Divine Beasts? I think with the devastation of Hyrule that we can see in the trailers, 
We will at least see them again in part to help with issues caused by the widespread destruction from Ganon and his monsters. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing the characters again, and if they don't play a major role in the upcoming Tears of the Kingdom, I'm hoping an introduction of some new characters, perhaps some that don't belong to the five races of Hyrule. Minish, anyone? Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my short video, I'm having a lot of fun doing these so I hope to make a lot more and yeah, please feel free to subscribe, comment or leave a like and hopefully catch you on the next one. Thank you very much.